Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning on this 04.16.2023. Current time is 07.44 a.m. Eastern Time here in upstate New York. That'd be the southern tier of upstate New York where I live and reside this Sunday morning. We're getting our Sunday going. We are here. Oh, that's the outro music. <laughs> I forgot to stop it. Uh, I got the intro, outro music, and, and stuff like that. Hello, Randy. Hello, sir. Are you officially retired? No, I'm, I'm on vacation right now. I'm, I'm, in be I'm sort of in between, Randy. Uh, uh, real quick, I'm Rich Roberts, Fireman Rich here on Twitch, at Fireman Rich over there on Twitter. We got Randy jumping right in. I know he's, let's see, what what time is it, Riyadh? 2.45. You, mu you must be just finishing up uh, an early day. But uh, Randy W. Horton, a great broadcaster. Where's my cards? I got to pop you. Thank you for being in here, Randy. Um, I was watching a little bit of your broad going into the, the day job this morning. But uh, I'm not officially retired, but I am all done with the day job. Um, there's our, uh, there's the Randy W. Horton. Uh, check him out, folks, that are watching on the replay on my YouTube channel, as well as over there on Twitch, or here on Twitch, and uh, over there on Rumble, okay? Randy Double. Um, but uh, good morning, Chris Tech. Uh, but no, Randy, I'm on vacation. I'm on three weeks vacation staycation I got some stuff to do this next week we took care of something Friday I got a few items uh, uh, to take care of but uh, uh, Social Security is already taken care of as far as that goes uh, um, I'm more or less I had my phone call last week and they uh, they gave me the indication everything is going is it, it's seamless seamless I was really surprised how seamless it was as far as that goes and uh oh you're home early okay so you're home so you'll be broadcasting today i know you were working with that uh that new bot you're working with or something like that i was just watching a l or listening to a little bit of your broadcast you have a bot going that uh it's giving you all sorts of uh, <laughs> uh interesting uh, uh events or something like that going on and you're not sure what's going on good morning chris technician is in the house as far as that goes uh no, sell your crap and move to a small island with the wife. Yeah. She would like that. She would like that. But there's other there's other factors that <laughs> prevent us from doing that as far as that goes. And uh, but we are here. Um, I've got my setup here where I'm I'm actually broadcasting over here on this laptop right here. And this has the uh, the OBS. It's on the and actually that's going Wi-Fi now that I think of it broadcasting and I'm monitoring it on my uh, surface 3 along with my uh, um, cell phone here as far as the comments and stuff like that so uh, but we're getting our, our Sunday started we had a good Saturday a good start to my uh, sort of in between uh, working at the day job and retirement this is sort of like a limbo state I guess <clears throat> I can honestly say that my last day, Randy, um, I walked out, did not have a care in the world. I said I did all I could do, and um, I wanted to stay till I was 67. I turned 65 next month. Staying there next to two years wouldn't have made a difference. So the, 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 the one key factor is the next two years, it's my time. It's not somebody else's time. And I don't have to wait that long as far as uh, to say it's my time and stuff. Um, it's just extra time, I guess. If I would have retired at 67, that means two more years of, uh, so um, um, the, the missus is very happy. Um, um, I'm trying, I can't say I'm being, it's a weekend right now. It hasn't hit me. I guess tomorrow when I wake up, tomorrow's Monday, I'm going to say, I don't have to go to freaking work. <laughs> so um, uh, I'm thinking about it though. It, it, is, a, it is a change and it's, it, it, it puts a smile on my face. I, I mean, um, uh, me and the missus were doing some things yesterday as far as uh, um, going over a few things. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty much comfortable right now, you know, but you never know. A year from now, two years from now, 
um, you know, it, it just like uh, the you know question came up. The miss, well, if I get bored, I'll probably go back to work. No, I, I don't. I can't foresee that. Right, but we never. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You just you take care of today, and uh, as far as that goes, and uh, uh, monitor. Let's see, monitor all from a small island. <laughs> there we go, monitor. Yeah, but the, you know the thing is, Randy, we were uh, we, when I was getting ready to get out. I, I was I, if I would have stayed in Kansas, I would have been in Kansas right now. We would. I had like three years, three and a half years left before I got that last assignment to. Uh, Yokota Air Base, and we would have probably been out there in Kansas, and that's probably where I would have been doing all this bit broadcasting from and stuff. Um, and I probably would have still been working because um, if I retired from the Air Force, I could have gone right across the airfield to work at Boeing, because Boeing is right there, and uh, uh, they share, they're on the other side of the airfield at uh, McConnell Air Force Base. is a 10,000 foot runway. That's uh, they bring the big jets in there. As far as that goes, so uh, and Wichita is very uh, industrial, uh, air, aeronautically wise. There's a lot of uh, Beechcraft is there. But of course, Boeing's the big one. There's a whole bunch of uh, uh, aircraft. Uh, you know, Kansas being a um, an airplane con uh, city, I guess you could say. Uh, Kansas sucks, Randy. Said. I don't know. I liked Wichita. You know, once you get past the tornado factor, it was it, the people there are great. You know, that's I guess that was the thing. Yeah, it's flat land and stuff like that, and uh, you have to travel around and stuff. But I, we, me and the missus liked it. We enjoyed it. Didn't you like Kansas? Oh, he's busy. <laughs> um, but we enjoyed Kansas as far as that goes, um, and um, and whatnot. So it's uh, it's just uh, a. a, a but then again, we came back here to New York and it worked out well. You know, the the, the, the missus, she wanted to, to go, let's see, Hawaii, Bahamas, Virginia, Virgin Islands, or even Staten Island. No, I don't know about Staten Island. <laughs> Maybe Long Island, but it's expensive as hell down there. You know, Staten Island and Long Island, to live down there is probably just as expensive as Hawaii, Randy. It's very expensive down there as far as um, down there to, to the city, the jungle, I guess you could say. And, uh, and and such. So uh, uh, currently here in uh oh, what was that? Hang on for a minute. I gotta go check on something. Stand by for a minute, folks. I will be right back. We're back. We're back. Uh, a couple of them were. I guess uh, Lucy came down. She she gets a little on, honorary. Or, uh, she's a little uh, testy, I guess you could say. Um, but currently here in the southern tier of upstate New York, we got 56 degrees <clears throat> Fahrenheit. That's 13 degrees Celsius. And um, we're it's it's. I guess the fog is lifting. We had some fog out there. Uh, but we're going to have partly cloudy, high of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's going to be nice. We, uh, winds south by southeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour. 80 degrees, that means um, upstairs is a little bit warm. we got an air conditioner upstairs going uh, during the day as far as that goes. Uh, around the world, our times and temperatures, Honolulu, Hawaii currently at 1.54 a.m. Uh, partly cloudy, partly clear, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Phoenix, Arizona at 4.54 a.m. Uh, clear skies at 59 degrees Fahrenheit in Albuquerque, New Mexico 
at uh, 554 a.m. currently it's 34 degrees uh, degrees Fahrenheit clear skies in Deming New Mexico where Chris technician lives it's 45 degrees Fahrenheit <coughs> and uh, <coughs> uh, 80 for the high so we're gonna have about the same high there Chris in Chicago Illinois uh, at 654 a.m. cloudy skies 54 degrees it's raining down in New York City uh, currently uh, at 7.55 p.m. local time here also, 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Across the pond in Cork, Ireland, it is 12.55 p.m. Uh, raining over in Cork at, at, uh, uh, also. In Milan, Italy at uh, 1.55 p.m. Sunny skies, 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Riyadh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, where um, uh, Randy lives in Jebel, which is probably just south of there, but in Riyadh right now, at 2.56, 2.55 p.m., it is 81 degrees Fahrenheit, and um, Hawaii, U.S., latitude, longitude, coordinates are, oh, okay, <laughs> I have to dial them in on the Google Maps, right? In um, New Delhi, India at 5.25 p.m., partly cloudy, partly sunny, 100 degrees in New Delhi. Down in Mumbai, south of New Delhi, uh, on the coast. Actually, it's, I, I believe it looks like it's on the, the west coast of India, down south, the southern part of it. It is uh, 5.26 p.m. Also, it's sunny skies there, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Kula Lumpur, it's uh, evening time there at 7.56 p.m., Clear skies, 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, in Manila, Philippines at 7.56 p.m. also. Clear skies also, 84 degrees. Same temperature there in Kuala Lumpur and Manila. In Tokyo, Japan at 8.56 p.m. Clear, partly cloudy, partly clear, 61 degrees Fahrenheit. And in Australia, Melbourne, Australia, 9.56 p.m. Uh, clear skies, 56 degrees Fahrenheit, and clear skies in Sydney at 9.56 p.m., 63 degrees Fahrenheit, and those are our world times and temperatures as we speak. And uh, I do have a uh, thought for the day from Albert Einstein. Uh, we, we, we use a lot of his quotes. Uh, German-born uh, theoretical physicist, uh, widely acknowledged as one of the greatest and most influential phys physicists of all times. He, he was smart. He was a smart guy. Einstein uh, is best known for his development of the theory of relativity and a uh, very smart man. Very smart man. I think he would be in my top. He, he would round off my top five that I'd want to see. But he has a good quote, which is our thought for today. And get to it here. Where is it? Back up one. Um, and it goes as follows. Laws alone cannot secure freedom of expression in order that every man present present, present his views without penalty. Uh, there must be spirit of tolerance in the entire population. Be that the entire population in this country, the United States, or the entire population around the world. We need to have more tolerance as far as that goes. So uh, Albert Einstein, very wise man very smart man intelligent and all that um, but laws alone cannot secure freedom of expression you know because there might be some laws that I don't know it they cannot secure freedom of expression you know laws um, they they change like uh, the selection of candy in the candy store sometimes it seems as far as that goes but uh, Laws alone cannot secure freedom of expression in order that every man pres presents his views without penalty. There must be spirit of tolerance in the entire population. And it's tolerance to say what you want that you don't, you know, there's, there's a line that you can't cross, okay? There's a, a line that you don't want to cross um, as far as that goes. Um, there, there's certain things that um, currently I wouldn't say because it's, it's not worth it in the long run. So who's missing out? Well, those people that want to see, hear my views and stuff like that could be, you know, it's, it's how you look at it. Um, you know, we can complain about, uh, uh, you know, certain things. I, you know, the most recent thing, uh, uh, I was listening about uh, uh, the current, uh, current, uh, well, I don't, let's not, I don't want to go into it. It's a Sunday. It's, a, it's let's, 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 
let's just say that we need to have more tolerance, okay? I don't want to go into a, a, a rash of discussion and stuff like that. I'm in a good mood. I don't need to put myself in a in a rampage or something like that. So, um, um, how about, a, yeah, well, that I was going to go there, but uh, let's just say that company, um, um, the Anheuser-Busch company, um, some people, you know, some people, you know, there's two sides. Some people say, hey, that's good uh, um, marketing and stuff like that. I think it was shit marketing. I know what they were trying to do to bring people in to be all inclusive and stuff like that. But when, I don't know, was it really necessary? You know, I think they were trying to do it where it was under the table and it wasn't going to come blow up as big as they, they thought it was going to blow up. Um, we'll see in the long run because this has happened before I and mean, these companies have bounced back. Um, myself, I don't even drink Bud Light, so I don't really care. I don't even drink Budweiser. I used to drink Michelob. Is that a Budweiser? Anheuser That's an Amheuser Bush product. I drink uh, Yingling. It's a Pennsylvania, uh, oldest brewery in the United States, Yingling. And uh, I like Heineken. What else do I like? Moosehead. Canadian beers are good. So... Um, you know, they have every right to go ahead and do that commercial, but it's at a cost and stuff like that. So, uh, um, but this is, the, the quote from Albert Einstein is there's certain laws that restrict, I don't know if they, I, I can't think of any out of the top of the hat. You don't drink beer, okay. Anyway, it was a business killer. Y y yeah, but I, I've actually heard uh, some very, and these are people in the marketing thing, and the, the stocks went down a little bit. I don't know, it, it's gonna have an impact. Um, but uh, right, n right now, well, two weeks from now, it's going to be a different thing, Randy. You know how that goes, as far as that goes. So, but uh, it's just the times we live in. If it's not uh, Anheuser Busch, it's Nike or somebody else and stuff like that. Um, you know, we live in a very diverse, uh, diverse uh, <laughs> uh, way of life, I guess, and stuff like that. Five point five billion down. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I agree with you totally, Randy. I just, you know, like I said, the, the proof will be in the long run and stuff like that. But the, the, the short term is, there. yeah, $5.5 .5 billion down. Um, that, that is a lot. <laughs> that really hits home and stuff. So I think nobody's going to be, you know, they're saying about it, you know, the, how the news build, you know, plays it and stuff like that. But two weeks from now, we're going to have something different. It's just like... Um, uh, what there's um, I saw on the the news thing on the overnight uh, news there's some shootings and stuff we don't hear it's almost commonplace and stuff so it just I don't know the world we live in but we should not have laws that restrict our um, our freedoms that we present and our views and stuff like that even though if they're wacky bananas and stuff like that I mean I used to be like that you know you shouldn't really be saying everybody has a right to express their expression but um, when it encroaches somebody else, it's, it's, eh, you know, you gotta be smarter than that, I guess, in, in a way of speaking, I think. I don't know. It's just my views as far as that goes. So, um, uh, let's see. We do have a, I'm surprised Tony, Tony was, he, he broadcast last night, Chris. I saw, I was catching a little bit. He had a broadcast last night. He, uh, he worked yesterday. So he was up late last night, and um, I think he said something about broadcasting sometime today. You know, it's still early for him. He's probably sleeping in. Um, since I've been um, since I've been out of work, I, I've been waking up at my normal time and stuff like that. Randy W. Horton, I am more in the nature of things, but to each their yeah. And I I agree with you. I agree with you totally, Randy. You know, it's as far as that goes, you um, it, and uh, uh, and such. So, uh, you know, as far as that goes. So, I'm just looking at the bit rate. The bit rate's working pretty. This setup is not too good. Is pretty decent as far as that goes. Um, so we'll see what Tony. I'm sure Tony will come up. Uh, you know, as far as that goes, I'm going to be going for a walk after I get done with this with the misses, and uh, as far as that goes and uh, see what happens for the day. Um, it doesn't feel like a Sunday though. Yesterday felt like, a, I don't know, maybe because I was off Friday. I'm just getting, this is part of my, this three weeks off is part of my adjustment, I guess you could say. Um, of course, um, I think I let you all know that I'm gonna be getting a new, um, a new rig. My OBS is a nightmare. Uh, 
on and off, on and off. Okay, well, well Randy, I'm on OBS right now on the laptop. I'm, I'm, I've got the laptop over here. I've got the microphone and the soundboard tied into the laptop over here. So, and I'm looking here, the camera's here. So I got my notes and my, my uh, um, I'm observing what I'm talking about. I've got the stream manager up on my Surface 3. So I've got like a really, so the laptop is working good for me, which is going to be good till Wednesday. Wednesday is when I get my new uh, computer. Yeah, it's, um, the, and the picture's looking good on the on the twitch also as far as what I see so uh, we're, we're broadcasting at 720p that's exactly where I want to be and I think once I get my new uh, computer Wednesday as far as that goes Wednesday um, I'll be getting a new uh, PC desktop I've got a, a stand over here to set it up I don't have any room on the desk here I'm thinking where am I gonna put this freaking monster and it is a monster as far as uh, spec wise it is a uh, um, as far as that goes, it is uh, probably the most powerful computer I have ever had in my life. Um, I think at work, the, the, the computer I had, um, oh, here's an update. No way. No freaking way. This might arrive today. Holy shit. I'm just checking my email. Oh, that'd be fuck. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm just checking my, it says now arriving early on Sunday, April 16th. No freaking way. Oh my God, that would be great. Oh my God, that's, I'm looking at this right now as far as that goes. Oh, what brand? I got an Acer. I got the Acer Nitro. Amazon, yes. Acer Nitro on Amazon and it, 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 I'm just looking at my email. Now arriving Sunday, April 16th. Oh, woohoo. Um, wow, that's great. Um, the specs on it, uh, it's probably going to play your Lord of the Ring. Oh yeah. Okay. God. Yeah. Let me, uh, the Lord of the Ring. That's what I'm, that's going to be my, my big benchmark because this, uh, let me see. Let me get the specs on it. It's an Acer Nitro, Nitro 50 game desktop it's a it's a beginning desktop um, I checked all the stores I checked the Walmart the two Walmarts I checked the Best Buy they didn't have anything that popped out this thing I, I came across this rig on Amazon uh, about just shortly after my my one buy about two weeks now and it popped right you need to buy this and it um, it was it they got various uh, selections but the selection I did was um, uh, what was the, um, it's an Intel Core i5 12, one, or one, two, four hundred F, which is, uh, it's a current gen, I guess F is a current gen, right, from what I've been told. It's a Navid GeForce, uh, GTX 1650, uh, graphics card, 32 gig, this is the big ticket right here, 32 gig of RAM. It's going to have one terabyte of solid state, uh, and it's got. I, I want. I elected. Um, I, I I went ahead and spend the extra thirty dollars. I went with the two terabyte hard drive, even though I have a hard drive I can put in. It, can, it has a, a a bracket to put it, two hard drives in, so there'll be a hard drive in it. I can install the hard drive from the old Acer in there to use the uh, use all the programs off on that, so I don't have to reinstall everything. So that's the rig I got, and I'm I'm stoked at this fact that. It's going to be coming in today. That is freaking outstanding. So uh, my PC is an Asus brand. Yeah, I was looking. There was an Asus brand I was looking at, but it was only it was only an eight gig. Uh, that made everything in the store. Uh, Walmart and um, uh, even Best Buy. The laptops they rule. They're all over the place. Everybody, I mean, and there's some. There were some good laptops, but I have a Surface Three, and I have a laptop over here. I have, uh, I have had many Acer's. Great, yeah. I, I think I agree too. My last two boxes have been Acer's. The, the one that went belly up was an Acer, Intel, and the it only had a 500 gig hard drive. But the one before that was an Intel or a, uh, an amp, uh, Acer. AMD and that had a one terabyte uh, 
hard drive and both of them they started at four gig of ram i i, I upped it the max is eight so they were maxed out at eight best buy usually has good sec they they're only they were only they're at the 16 gig level chris and they were more expensive i, I they were they were like about three four hundred dollars more than what i'm paying for this for getting um 32 gig as far as so this isn't maybe the, this isn't the it's it's a beginner what it, it's how can i put it it's a pre-built there was a term they said that uh yeah oh shit yeah best buy is not really the best buy your best buy is to go on amazon or even ebay has i mean ebay i was looking at ebay i was almost um and then uh, I know I asked Randy this. I asked if he would buy a refurbished. And he said, "Hell no." So that 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 nicks that because I I was looking at uh, uh, putting down the, the the coin there for uh, for a refurbished because they 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 had some really nice rigs. But entire gamer, entire gaming gamer, perfect for us. Oh, entire game or perfect for us non pros. Yeah, then then the thing is I don't um I don't I I could probably build my own, but the components, when you add up all the components, it, it's over a thousand dollars. So this one right here, I'm getting the bang for my buck. I'm not really extreme a, an extreme gamer, but it's it's you know, you take the two boxes I have down here in the cupboard, it, it, there, it this one just surpasses that. Um, so I've got a spot for it. If this is coming in today, this is going to be great. <laughs> I'm glad I checked my email this morning. Yeah, Sunday. I'll have to check the previous. Ex it was previously expected to arrive Tuesday or Wednesday. So it's getting here really quick. I'll have to monitor that and stuff like that. So um, we'll um, we'll see how it comes. No, I have a monitor. Randy, I, I don't need a monitor. I, I've got the monitor here is a Dell monitor. Um, what is it? Is it 28 inch? What the hell is it? You, me you measure diagonal, I believe, right? What is this? This is, that's uh, 12, no, it's 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. It's a 19 inch. It's about 19 inches. That's more than sufficient. I've got room to put, let's see, 19. 20, 22. I could put it up to a 22 inch monitor. The, this this Dell monitor is more than sufficient. I don't need a new new monitor, as far as that goes. Um, I just uh, this monitor I've had for what the last. Oh geez, I don't know. Did it come with a Dell? Did I have a Dell? I, I don't know if I bought this or what. I'm not sure how I got this this uh, monitor. Now that I think of it, uh, that means you're gonna broadcast with new PC. I don't know. We'll see, Chris. We'll see. I got to set it up and see what uh, what's going on. This setup I have set up for uh, for broadcasting. So the morning broadcast, we'll see uh, um, if I can get it fired up. I might I might be broad I might be broadcasting Lord of the Rings tonight on it, <laughs> or else I'll be just tied up. Um, if I don't show up for the tomorrow's broadcast, you know what I'm doing. I stayed up too late to. No, we'll see about tomorrow as far as that goes. Uh, uh, so it's, it should be good. Uh, the updates and downloads take, yeah, exactly, Randy. Yeah, that's true. So that is good news. That is good news. Let's see. Uh, today's national days. Let's see. Today is uh, Sunday, April 16th. Um, let's see. Is our sound still doing good? Yeah, we're at 30 minutes. Okay. Um, April 16th. 2023 it's 166th day 106th day uh 15th week of the year and we're 29 percent through the year and let's see we have national orchid day now nah, that's not bad for a sunday and uh video games will keep you away yeah true that's true chris let's see national health decisions uh, well, I don't know. National wear your pajamas to work day. Uh, today's Sunday. She shouldn't be going to work. Well, Randy, did you wear your pajamas to work? Today was national wear your pajamas to work. Oh, that's right. You got those uh, throbes. That's like a pajamas, right? Did you wear a throbe? No, I think you had your shirt on. I saw you had your uh, business shirt on as far as that goes. So you had your pants on. <laughs> national bean counter day. How about that? National bean counter. No, I like... 
This is one, I, uh, let's see, National Health Care Decision Day. Nah, uh, let's see. I went normal. Yeah, you went, you were normal today. Uh, we're going to go with this one because the missus, she likes this. I don't really care for it. I'm more of an omelet type of guy. But the missus likes this. So today is national, maybe I can get her into saying, let's go for breakfast. National Eggs Benedict Day. Ooh, that, maybe after the broadcast I can finagle in or go to go to the uh, River Rock to get that River Rock uh, Cafe. That's where we go for breakfast in Owego, here in Owego. And uh, it's it's a nice diner. Let's see, uh, April 16th, National Eggs Benedict Day celebrates a long favorite breakfast or brunch dish. Eggs Benedict content, contest, consists of poached eggs, hollandaise sauce, and Canadian bacon uh, or ham on an English muffin. Ooh, Eggs Benedict. You like Eggs Benedict there, Chris? Um, let's see. Uh, it was 1894. Stockbroker Lemurel Bennett. Benedict ordered uh, butter toast, poached eggs, crisp bacon, and a side of Hollandaise, sauce, Hollandaise at the Wardorf Hotel. They were so impressed with the dish they, uh, that they put it on the menu, substituting ham and, and England mush muffin in place of bacon and toast. In, 18, in the 18th century, Pope Benedict the uh, 13th liked an egg dish so much that he requested it time and time and again. Many believe that Pope Benedict the Thirteenth had an illness that aided to his desire for this particular dish. Hence the name e Eggs Benedict is named after a Pope. So uh, there we have it. Today is National Eggs Benedict Day. Uh, let's see, in history today, is there anything in history? Charlie Chap Chap Chaplin was born in London, the first movie maker to take uh, complete control over his films as an actor, writer, and director back in 1889 he was born. Um, Boston, in the Boston area, the old, oldest existing indoor ice hockey arena still used for the sport in the 21st century, now called Matthews Arena. I don't remember that being up there in Boston and considers a spectator's dream venue open for the first time in 19. Ten. In uh, 1962, uh, Walter Cronkite, first anchor of the CBS Evening News broadcast, late later he became the man most trusted, the, the most trusted man in America. And I used to watch him as a kid every every night at six o'clock or at six thirty. Turned public opinion against U.S. the U against U.S. aggression in Vietnam. It wasn't aggression; it was an actual war. But once. Uh, Walter Cronkite said, hey, we're, we're not, we shouldn't be in this war. LBJ said, you know what? We need to get out. Of, you know, it just, opinion just changed after that. Um, let's see, anything else? Nothing really. There's some other things here as far as that goes. Um, what's this? We got some baseball. Uh, in Major League Baseball yesterday, what did we have? Um, the Yankees beat the Twins yesterday. That's good. I didn't watch that game. I was watching a little bit of the football. How did the Mets do? The Mets won against the Athletics. So the Mets and Yankees won. Red Sox won. Your Red Sox won there, Chris, 9-7. Uh, to seven. Uh, There was football yesterday. Yesterday, uh, the XFL, the... Um, Let's see, I picked the Roughnecks. They won against the Vipers, and the Guardians lost to the uh, Baramas, San Antonio. So I'm 50% there. Today, uh, we're going to have the Renegades against the Defenders. I picked the Defenders. They play uh, today at uh, 12, and then Battle Hawks and Sea Dragons later tonight. There is USFL. USFL started yesterday. It seems like the uh, the Stars won against the Showboats yesterday, 27-13. The New Jersey Generals lost to the Stallions, and today we're going to have the Panthers against the Gamblers and the Maulers against the Breakers. So that's over on Fox Sports. So we got some football going on. And the last item um, is uh, basketball. We had the first round of basketball. The New York Knicks beat the Cleveland uh, Cavaliers 
101 to 97, so they're one game up. It's uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it's a five game series this first round. Um, the Boston Celtics, I watched some of that game. They they just trounced. They just trounced the uh, 100. Well, they uh, if the final score was 112 to 99, but when I was watching that game, they were up by like 30 points at the halftime going into the third quarter. And last night, I guess when I went to bed, the the Warriors lost to the Kings. Ooh, that's a big upset. Kings are supposed to be good. So we got ba basketball going on. And let's see. Randy. Chris Technician's Commodore Root. I don't know. What, what is that, Randy? What is that comment? I have no idea what you're doing there. Your counter sh doesn't show all here. Oh, those are the people that are here. Okay, you're you're checking. Uh, I got some people that are sitting in the. I don't know. They, there's always about four or five people that are sitting there. People watching inside. Yeah, the the people in the background. I don't look at that that often, but let me check it. Seeing that you said something about it. Let's see. Yeah, some of those people, they're just sitting back and stuff like that. So I'm not sure. I think some of those may be bots because I've seen them before um, as far as that goes. So I, I do see some people um, as far as that goes. Tina, good morning. T we're, 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 uh, we're about a little on the flip side, the second half side. Good morning, Tina. Tina coming in from Georgia. Or no, not Georgia. You're coming in from Jersey. Jersey. She's a Jersey girl as far as that goes. And see, Tina just popped in, but she's not on here and stuff. So I look at that every once in a while. I think you showed me that when I first started broadcasting. So those are the those are the people that uh, that are in the background. But it only shows five people, Randy, so I don't understand that. The counter doesn't work or something like that. I think some of those may be bots. That's why they don't show up. Because I get some random people that I look at that they're, they're, I don't know, should I delete those? As far as that goes, or block them? If they're not regular viewers? They're just floating in the background, but they don't give me the numbers. Oh, your counter is always off too? So, I, I know I got five solid, I know one of the five people is me because I'm watching it. I'm watching it here, so um, let's see. And sometimes the counter, like it says five, but on the uh, stream manager, but over here on the stream manager on the phone, it says I have four. So, you know, either or as far as that goes. So, uh, um, let's see. Thank you, Chris, for uh, for all the likes, sir. He <laughs> just, he just, it's just like rapid fire, like, 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 or heart, 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 heart. <laughs> that comes in and stuff like that. Um, uh, there is something tomorrow, and I probably will be broadcasting tomorrow because um, uh, uh, SpaceX is going to be, um, uh, they're scheduled uh, possibly for a flight test tomorrow at 7.15. They got their FAA approval to launch that big-ass rocket, that B-A-R, big-ass rocket. <laughs> that's on the launch pad right now down there in Texas and um, let me see if I go to this um, yeah there's a picture of it they, they've got a it's it's gonna be live tomorrow at 7:15. I'm on their SpaceX um, YouTube channel it says Space, SpaceX is targeting as soon as Monday April 17th for the first flight test of the fully integrated Starship and Super Heavy rocket from Starbase in Texas. The 150 minute test window will open at 7 o'clock Central. So that's 8 o'clock uh, Eastern. So uh, I probably be watching that. SpaceX is targeted as soon as, uh, but the Starship is fully reusable system designated to carry both crew and cargo from uh, to Earth orbit and um, so that's going to be exciting. Uh, a live webcast of the flight will begin 45 minutes before liftoff, as is the case with all developing testing. This schedule is dynamic and likely to change 
So be sure to stay tuned. So, you know, they may decide to launch it, but then, then again, they may uh, say, you know what? Uh, let's see. Those are folks who watch as many. Okay, those are the folks who watch as many viewers like silence and enjoy lurking. Okay. I, I, I sometimes lurk. I, I lurk in your broadcast there too, Randy. I just sit back and... Because I got the headphones and I'm walking around doing something as far as that goes. So uh, um, that's okay. That's no big deal. That's fine. We, we're up to six now. So, uh, you know, but uh, I appreciate the people that are here. Thank you very much. And it looks like the... the this setup is, is gold right here. This is a good setup. You know, even with this, this laptop on the OBS, I got the... Uh, the soundboard and the um, that's t it has a microphone and the uh, the desktop the ADM is uh, well the ADM is tied the sound is tied in that's how I bring in the sound uh, the intro outro sound is from the uh, uh, using Audacity I've got it on I'm using I'm utilizing Audacity with this for the uh, intro outro I like the intro outro as far as that goes it gives me a a benchmark and uh, so this is working out. This is good. I, you know, I think even though my system went down and you know, it's like everything went to crap. You know, I'm able to play around with a few things, and it's always good to be playing around. And it looks like I'm going to be playing around this afternoon if that new box comes in today. We'll see. I'll have to check the uh, tracking after this broadcast here, as far as it goes. Yeah, let's do the dinner report, Chris. Good idea. What'd you have for dinner? You're here. Let's do a dinner report. I'm trying to think of what we had. Oh, we, I know what we had. We had something. It was very tasty, but we didn't um, go ahead with the dinner report. What did what did Chris Technician have for dinner? <laughs> oh, I got the time sitting right there in front of my face. <laughs> Been on for forty three minutes, so we're we're right on time as far as that goes. Not that there's I'm not worried about the time. That's the last thing I'm I'm worried concerned about. Let's see. Tina comes in with roast beef sub. And where did you get the roast beef sub, Tina? Did you get it at Jersey Mike's? I went to Jersey Mike's just to let everybody know Friday with the missus. Why it was that was my first day off from the day job. As far as I'm, I'm, I'm all finished. I was finished last Thursday, but uh, we went out. We had to do some uh, some um, some things in the morning as far as to take care of some um, some business and stuff like that. And um, we went to Jersey Mike's after. Oh my God, it was good. It was good. Um, let's see, Chris for technician for his uh, dinner report. He had uh, for his dinner report. I had a double cheeseburger with onions, onion rings, and a Dr Pepper from a local burger joint. Okay, Chris, Randy goes. Chris had diabetes on a plate. Yeah, yeah. If he, he's still young, and Tina. Oh, that was uh, uh, sus. Sus huge subs. Okay, so it's a private place. Good morning, Thammer. Good morning. Glad to have you here. Um, <laughs> oh, and I think uh, Randy, you had I, I, I somebody said in the beginning of the broadcast. I, I, I watched, like I said before this broadcast, I was listening to like the first fifteen minutes or so, and first fifteen twenty. Somebody said you had chicken, so that was that was your dinner report. Chicken last night. Um, subs, okay. It's she knows huge subs, okay. So she knows. It's a, I guess I've never heard of that before. Um, but Jersey Mike's, oh my God, I want to go back there. It's a, it's a good place. I can't. It, they make it, it's all fresh. That's the difference between Jersey Mike's and Subway. Subway, they got the meat sitting in the can and stuff. And oh, you know, granted, you're right there and they're putting it on the the thing, but. Um, the meats at Jersey Mike, they take the thing and they slice it right there. It is fresh. It is fresh. Right out of the big, big thing of uh, cold cut meats and stuff. Uh, Chris Technician to Randy, I'm still in my 20s, so I don't get, got to worry. Yeah, but you always need to be aware of that. It sneaks up on you. Okay? You got to, uh, it can sneak up on you, Chris. Okay? Um, your age. Diabetes doesn't care about age, okay? 
it's, it's any type of uh, disease or illness. Uh, this is an Italian place. Oh, okay, it's a local Italian place. Yeah, those are the best. But the thing is, Jersey Mike's, when we're coming home, the missus said that it, it tastes better than the subs at Mario's. And I'm like, oh, my God. And then I got thinking about it. Yeah, they, they're right they're right up above Mario. So that my coworker who told me before we went to Jersey Mike's, he said it was better than Wegmans. And I says, Is this if this sub is better than Wegmans, then uh you know, Wegmans is supposed to be good. True, forget about that. Yeah, just just be aware of it. As long as you're not eating it every day and stuff like that. You're throwing the healthy food in there. Oh, my dinner report is uh, the missus made up a what was that you made up? I was just calling it Mexican rice. Oh, Mexican rice. Okay. It was Oh, that's right. It was rice. There was uh some salsa in there, some beans and it was a uh, a nice dish. I um I had a um a, a bowl and a half. So it was a, it was a rice. She called it a Mexican. Just something put together. It was really tasty and stuff like that. And so uh, it it was good. So there we have it. Um um we got a full broadcast in, so I elected not to broadcast over on uh, Rumble this weekend. I guess I guess it just feels comfortable being here. The setup is nice. The picture is nice, as far as that goes. Uh, and oh, okay, it says encoder overload, but it doesn't have any drop frames. CPU rate is a little bit high, 50 to 6, but it's it's a 12 gig. RAM on the on the thing, and plus it's I I don't I was thinking this afternoon before I knew the new um, desktop PC was coming in, I was thinking about how because this is Wi-Fi. I'm broadcasting on here using on the laptop using OBS, but it's Wi-Fi to the router. The router's right here, and um, I was thinking about hot wiring this and and use uh, and try broadcasting. Uh, Lord of the Rings gaming later this afternoon and stuff like that. So I don't eat fast food ever. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. Um, if you know, you know, I used to eat it every day when I was younger, Chris, and I, I just uh, I sort of peeled off. And plus, uh, getting away from, for me the soda. I got away from the soda. I did have a soda at Jersey Mike's. It was uh, what was that? A vanilla? Oh, a vanilla cream. Oh my God, was that good? It's like holy crap! This soda, is, <laughs> it was like, it was like the dessert with the sandwich. My God, because uh, Wi-Fi isn't stable for. Well, it's close, I think. But yeah, I, I figure, yeah, gaming. But for this, it's it's a nice setup. I mean, the pitch I've seen the review, uh, replay from yesterday's. I look, I, I spot check it, and it it looked clean. It looked very clean as far as that goes. It does indicate. No drop frames now, but even though I did have an encoder, the encoder burp comes up. It's gone now. Oh, it just came up. So it, it's probably because of uh, uh, you recommended watching that Lord of the Rings. Oh, it was on la yesterday. I was watching it yesterday afternoon. I actually saw uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, that's one of my favorite movies. It, it was on Paramount Channel yesterday. So um, I've watched the Lord of the Rings movies, uh, The Hobbit. Um, oh God, 50 plus times, if not more, as far as that goes. I love, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's starting in the middle or towards the end, I'll watch it. But they had, a, uh, they were doing a marathon yesterday on Paramount Channel, as far as that goes. So if, if you're into that thing, Thammer, you may not like it and stuff. I, I just love everything that is uh, related to J.R.R. Tolkien. I love Tolkien. He's uh, my favorite author. Right behind him is Mark Twain. As far as that goes, they're the two uh, two great um, uh, um, author, authors of uh, uh, books that I really enjoy. Uh, the new Super Mario movie made half a billion dollars so far in the box office. Okay, let's see, half a billion. That's good. Let's see if they can make uh, a billion. That's what uh, Top Gun. Top Gun is the uh, uh, Maverick. I think was probably the most. Well, let's check and see what that is. The most. Uh, Let's see. Tony took his son to see. Uh, uh, he said he enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to, to, to for it to come out. Um, what did we, we? Me and the missus watched a movie on Netflix. 
with Denzel Washington, and I don't really. He's a he's an okay guy, but I don't really agree with him. Um, Spike Lee was the uh, director producer of it. What was that called? Inside Job. Yeah. Yeah, Inside Job on net, uh, Netflix. Two thumbs up. You got to watch the whole thing. You got to pay attention to it. It's 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 about a bank robbery. Denzel Washington's in it, and uh, I mean, it, there's some piece. It, 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 um, definitely two thumbs up on the Netflix uh, film. Uh, the new Super Mario. Yeah. So let's see what uh, what's the uh, what's the most uh, how can I put this? What's the most uh, uh, money made made movie? I don't want to say gross because they'll think I'm thinking. Um, lifetime. Oh, that can't be for. Oh, that's two billion. Oh, wow. Let's see. Avatar was at two billion, almost three billion in two thousand nine. Have anybody seen the new Avatar? That's on Disney. I was. We we're almost going to watch that last night. Um, and then after that, Avengers. Avengers End Games. Oh, Avatar: The Way of the Water. That's at two billion. That's 2022. So what did Maverick made? Yeah, Avatar, the first Avatar, then Avengers Endgame is second. Uh, Avatar, The Way of the Water, and then Titanic. They're all at $2 billion. So the movies that made... What movie was the uh, number one for the longest? That's got to be, oh, E.T. Then Titanic. And believe it or not, Be Beverly Hill Cops. And then Tootsie. Oh my God. Um, what did Maverick make? How much? Let's see. How much? I thought that how much? How much money? How much money did money did Maverick um, Top Gun Maverick Top Gun Maverick made? Let's see. I thought that was at a billion. Top Gun Maverick was the second highest grossing theater. The, theatrical release in 2022 um, with the box office revenues of around 1.5 billion so that was in the theater that's just a the theater so I think the most grossing is you, you add in all the uh, uh, the rentals and all that you know the selling and stuff like that um, with 719 million being generated in can the US and Canada alone so how much profit did uh, Maverick take in um, Paramount's Top Gun Maverick took in 719 million and uh, who do we got is Randy broadcasting Randy decided to go broadcast okay um, well that's good then we can we can go raid Randy right how many people we got we got five people we can go ahead and do a raid on Randy so um, let's see uh, we're gonna. Nah, I'm not gonna do a raid. I I got some stuff to do here. I don't want to raid because then I, I feel like I have to stay there and talk with. Randy. Well, he was here. I should raid. Do you, do you think we should raid? What do you think? Let's go ahead and raid. The first Avatar comes during the 3D technology. That's why. Yeah, that's that's a good point, Thammer. That is a very good point. They did have the 3D. I wasn't. I'd seen 3D. Uh, my first 3D. Movies that I saw, I think, was Lord of the Rings. I, I wasn't too impressed with it. Yes, let's raid Randy. Yeah. How do I do the raid again? Let's see. I have to... I, let's see. Do I do it? I think I have to do it... Um, 
let's see. How do I do it? How did I do that last time? Did I do it on here yesterday when we raided uh, Hal? I'm not sure if I did it over here. I think I have to do it. Let's see. It was uh, it's forward slash. Yeah, I got to do. I'm gonna do it from the OBS. So it's forward slash raid. And then the channel. Let's see. And Randy's channel. I gotta make sure I, I get the right channel here. Let's see. Okay, where is he? I don't see him. Is he on? Oh, Harley's on. Let me refresh this. Let's see. I was watching Aquaman in 3D. Gave me a headache. Yeah, that 3D. That that's what I almost got a headache watching that. I don't think it's a natural thing to do. Uh, Thammer. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, there's Randy. Okay, so it's just Randy W. Horton. Okay, we're going to go ahead and raid Randy W. Horton. Uh, no outro music. I'm doing, the I'm doing the raid. We're doing the raid. Randy W. Let me get this right. H-O-R-T. H-O-R-T. O-N. Okay, let's get the last comments in the first time. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Chris Technician. Okay, is everybody ready for... T We're going to go ahead and raid uh, Randy W. Horton. How's that sound, guys? Everybody cool with that? We have four people. We're going to go ahead and raid. And uh, so... Uh, Okay, Tina says okay. Okay, everybody ready? I got it. I got it set up. I'm gonna try that. I think I did it over here. Have a great Sunday. Yeah, you got Chris. Have a good day. Tina, have a good day. Thammer, have a good day. If Randy was still here, he might be monitoring. Have a great day, Tina. Uh, uh, Randy W. Horton, who came in, greatly appreciate him uh, being here. We're gonna go ahead and raid over on Randy. So everybody ready? Here we go. We hit. Uh, let's see. I hit enter. How come it didn't go? This channel is intended for a mature audience and has, okay, it has followers or subscribers only. Okay, that didn't work over here, so are we still here? Are we still here? Let's see. Okay. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, that didn't work over there. That's interesting. Okay. Let me try it from um let me try it from over here on the let's see. I did it yesterday. How the hell? Let's go ahead and let's see do it again. Let's see. We're gonna go forward slash raid. And Randy W. Horton. Randy W. H O R T O N. Okay, here we go. We're going to try this again, folks. Let's see. Here we go. I already have a raid in progress. Oh, you know what? It's up here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's. Did we raid? Okay, we did an automatic raid. Here we go. We raided.